There is a web to case functionality also. That is, from a site directly, if they want to send information or enquiry, and if that needs to be created as a case in Salesforce, you will be able to utilize web to case and have to set up like you need to enable this feature first and then create and customize your web form to decide what are the different fields to be displayed as part of this form. Then you need to generate the HTML content for this particular form and you can add this to your website. There are some initial setup that you also, you also need to done like the case fields to be included in the form like we just discussed the email template for notification like the owner should be notified when a new case is getting created you need to select an email template and also required queues for assignment like if the origin is web to whom this should be assigned all those things you will be able to set up before doing web to case and you can decide on the case ownership also let us see let us go and see how the basic set setup should be done. Similar to email to case, there is web to case. This is already enabled in my environment. And also you can see default response template like whenever a case is getting created to web to case process the creator will be automatically notified if this is populated and once web to case is enabled there is a web to case html generator that you can utilize to generate your form here you will be able to select the available fields you can mention contact name email phone subject description and if any other fields you would like to add you can select it here and enter the url that user will be returned to after this uh, after uh, you the customer has submitted the details so what we are going to do here is once we have generated this html content uh, i have created a community public community site we can add this web form there and see if it is working or not so default url i'm going to give it as my site itself Let us open and get the address of that particular site. This is the site that is customer support. Once that is also populated, you can click on generate and this code you will be able to utilize anywhere. Now let us go to my experience builder update my site and included this particular form so that we will be able to create a new web to case based on this for that from the components let us drag and drop this html editor to here and you can edit this html editor markup utilize the html code that got created here And save this you can see the all the fields that we mentioned as part of the web to lead got created or uh, are coming automatically here since this is added let us publish this it might take a couple of minutes to see the changes But let us give a try. This is a public site. So let me open this in a new window. You can see that with the web to case form got added to the, our site automatically. Let me populate some basic details. Subject, let us keep it as uh, web to case demo 
description testing web to case from customer side and i'm submitting this since i have given the redirection url same as the site the site got refreshed like you can see now let us go back to the case list and see if we have new case created from the web2 case form you can see the web2 case demo that we just entered from the site got created here successfully let us go to the subject and verify if it is coming as expected yes you can see subject web2 case demo and description also you can see whatever i have given it's coming and getting populated correctly this is how you will be able to utilize web2 case form you can share this with your company portal people so that you will be they will be able to include this as part of their public site and cases will get created in our salesforce system automatically whenever customers are having some question or they would like to raise issue related to their product there are some considerations for web2 case especially with respect to the type of data that you will be able to populate and the major limitation is that you will be able to create maximum 5000 cases only utilizing this particular feature